My name is Ahmed Windy. I am from Iraq, Baghdad. I work as a project field coordinator with Pax for Peace, which is a Dutch peace building organization, and I am based here in Baghdad, in Iraq. Uh, through this video, I want to give a quick feedback on the design of inclusive and context sensitive policy making approaches. Um, and I just want to give like a thorough feedback on this section of the uh, document of the policy guidelines. If you, after I've read the documents thoroughly times at the times, uh, I generally really like the recommendations, the, uh, the specification of the problems, uh, the standardized and formalized practices for local cooperation, and uh, everything that's related to it. And uh, regarding the recommendations, I just want to uh, emphasize on one point is that uh, regarding uh, incorporating youth uh, it says the document itself says that we need to incorporate different stakeholders on different levels uh, into the picture but I want to also uh, uh, incorporate youth effective effectively and providing providing them with positive youth and development positive youth involvement and providing a platform that allows youth that are not used to speak out to have a platform to speak out and to have the abilities to do that and at the same time i think it's very very important also to have a gender responsive approach uh, that not only includes women and girls but also incorporates men as well uh, men's existence within the gender uh, discussions is extremely, extremely important. Uh, last one point, the one last point that I want to include as well is not, is to always consider and include uh, minority groups, especially those minorities that are considered based on religious and ethnic uh, basis. Uh, they are often disregarded when it comes to discussions on one table in countries, for example, like Iraq and Lebanon, that's also stated in the document itself. Uh, it's very, very, very important to provide them a platform. To incorporating the three points that I've mentioned is that uh, the youth perspective, uh, the gender perspective, and also uh, to have a diversity in terms of ethnic and religious uh, participation. Um, is and representation is extremely important to have a diverse and I think a, a, a more uh, responsive, more uh, like an include more inclusive uh, approach, uh, and to provide a platform for everyone to speak. And it's, it's, it's extremely important because there is a lot of decisions and there is a lot of recommendations that happens in our countries. Um, sadly, it doesn't go through everyone. It just goes through few key people, few key youth, uh, few key figures, and uh, whether it's religious or political or even within um, civil society. So. Uh, reaching out to new groups, especially among youth, uh, seeking out uh, civil society actors that really doesn't have the platform to speak out and include them and cooperate them. And of course, the last point, uh, which is uh, including uh, the inclusion of uh, religious and ethnic minorities as well into the discussions. It's really important. Thank you so much.